What was your first rap name? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got pictures upstairs of you when you were younger. I'll run upstairs and grab those. <laughs> Stop blowing up my fucking phone. Dancing, do that shit, and listen to Run DMC and Beastie Boy records. And um, I mean, I, I started running around the house rapping and shit. And then I got more serious into it in the 90s when there was all those groups like Organized Confusion and Souls of Mischief. And I started hearing lyrics that were dope, so it inspired me to, to, to rap and real stu really study those guys who were dope back then. I don't know anything else but this. I was kind of born into it. I don't know anything else. I just know how to smoke and make beats and rap, and that's it. My friend used to own a, an import car store in Lakewood, California. After the shop would close at 7 o'clock at night, people used to just meet up there and freestyle and stuff like that. And then one of my friends had asked me to do a radio drop for a station in LA, 92.3 The Beat. <clears throat> my man, Mike Nardone. And uh, so I did it. And obviously it was the hottest thing anybody's ever heard. And I didn't even know I was capable of doing that kind of stuff. From there, uh, I joined a group called Styles of Beyond, and that never did anything. And then I joined a group called Fort Minor, which sold a million records. And then we formed GBC. We all worked on the Fort Minor mixtape together. We That's kind of where we met. To yeah. Kind of formed this Get Busy thing. So Scoop provided beats and stuff for the Fort Minor mixtape. Me and App were, were already friends prior to that. And uh, yeah, Demigods. Demigods is the other crew we have. To try to make this long, boring story as short as possible, uh, I got out of my record deal with Warner Brothers. App got in his record deal with uh, Atlantic. And uh, we decided we didn't want to play those games anymore. And we were just going to do exactly what we wanted to do at all times. And, and not sacrifice anything. But yeah, it, it's just fun now that we get to be a group and have fun and really not give a fuck what anybody says because we are the Get Busy Committee and that's what we do. We're tired of not being busy and we want to be busy, so <laughs> fuck it. The way our sound is is a culmination of everything that we've done in our past. So we've done you know, more poppy records with Fort Minor. We've done lyrical records with Styles of Beyond, Demigods. So we're kind of a mashup of all, of all that put together and, and to get busy committee. We, we took elements that worked from everything that we've done throughout our career and applied it to get busy committee. You know, when to, when to pull back on the lyrics and when to go hard with the lyrics, the way the beats go, all that stuff is, is stuff that we learned along, along the way. And we're figuring out now that all of our trials and tribulations of the past were there on purpose to, to get us prepared for what happened with GBC. And we did it all here. Yeah, did it all in L.A. I mean, there was there was times where I'd be in, in Connecticut and, uh, you know, I'd come up with a rough idea and send it to these guys and maybe they'd write, but then we'd all get together. That was the beginning of stages of it. Like, you would send records and we were first like, all right, we're going we're gonna to start taking this serious. And then <coughs> back, it was like we had App out here on the next plane we could get him on and we just started working on the album. It happened pretty quick, though. We just got in the studio and... We build shit from the ground up. We didn't start. We didn't have like a, a batch of hot beats to work with. We started with a fucking hi hat and snare and a kick and started writing a hook and then adding keys to it. And we build everything from the ground up. We'd write as we make the beat. People always trip out how like when we do a song, like like a lot of people nowadays, they'll go in the studio and they'll do they'll do 50 songs and maybe get one good one out of it. I, I'm not joking when I say every song that we do is good, and that's not being arrogant or anything that's just the school we come from when we used to go in the studio we didn't have time we couldn't afford to go in there and waste time and have bad songs and shit like that so everything we do is thorough we came from a different school where we didn't have the the, the digital technology and, and all the programs and all the shit like that we had analog and we had to get shit right the first time like Ryu was saying yeah we had to record on tape or the era of that whole 
people were people were battling each other, and you had to be actually good to walk around and get respect when you were if you were doing rap stuff. Like all that shit's gone. You don't you don't hear that no more. The whole industry and the whole the way people perceive it is a fallacy. The days of a puff daddy discovering you and blowing you up like Biggie are gone. Those those days are over. It doesn't happen anymore. And anybody who tries to make you believe that on TV, it's phony. It's fake. Absolutely. It's fake story. The characters got to come back in the game. The people who were doing stuff for a reason, the people you believed in when you heard them rap or whatever they were doing, you, you wanted to hear Slick Rick or you wanted to hear Biggie. You, nowadays, it's just like you don't want to hear none of these people because everybody's on the same shit. Everybody wants to do the same thing. It's done. Goodbye. Where are you at now? I'm going to say, if I meet a thousand people who do this, maybe one person I'll meet, I'll slightly say, yeah, maybe, maybe you should try. But honestly, even if you try, chances are that the business and the money side of it is so fucked up that you can't do this as anything other than a hobby or to do it for fun or to show off your skill. You can't come into the game thinking, I'm gonna do a demo, I'm gonna get a record deal, I'm gonna be on MTV, all that kind of shit. Forget that, that's out the window. If you wanna do music, do it for fun, do it for your friends, do it for your family, and that's it. You wanna play shows just to have fun, do that. If you're not having fun with it, it's not gonna work. Everything else will come later. Don't don't pursue these things like record deals and things like that because they're they're a fucking myth. They don't exist. Next up, we have uh, we're working on this this record we're gonna be putting out for the summer. I don't know if it's gonna be an EP or an album. Depends on how many hot tracks we have when we're done. Um, and it's still untitled. We have a few different titles we're playing with right now, but this shit'll be out. Uh, shit'll be out in the summer, sometime for sure. This ain't one of them record deal things where you gotta wait fucking 18 months and shit keeps getting pushed back. Uh, yeah, it's just time for new shit. Like, we're a summer group, really. We hibernate in the winter months. Summer is where we shine. Because we don't do shows where it snows, so we have to kind of wait for spring and summer to get in full swing. But we're going to um, kick you in the dick this summer with some new shit. And it's way better than anything we've ever done, or anybody else for that matter. I'm running out of dough, oh, 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 oh. It's getting kind of low.